I've loved following your journey for nearly a decade on Total Divas and now on Total Bellas. How long do the two of you plan to keep inviting the cameras into your lives? Oof, it's a good question. Yeah. <laughs> We've been talking about that a lot lately. A lot lately. We love filming reality. We don't mind it. But you start seeing your kids. And that's what you have to start to think about. Like, my daughter hates the camera. Um, she does. Yeah. yeah. yeah Birdie doesn't even let me take pictures, but when cameras come around, it's it's hard on her. So I'm very respectful of her space. Both Nicole and I always say, like, we have to respect our families. Yeah. And mm -hmm. at any time where our families feel like it's time for them to be done, then we have to think about that too. So I was even telling Brie, even when I post a photo of Mateo on my Instagram, I always get, like, I get a guilty feeling. And I always go to Artem, I'm like, was that okay? Should I not have done that? And I think because he doesn't get that say, right? And so I told her that I can maybe do a few more seasons of reality TV, but I just can't raise my son in front of right. the cameras. I just don't want him one day to look at me and be like, you never gave me that choice. I want him to have a normal upbringing. And when he's 18, right. he can choose whatever it is he wants to do. Because Brie and I have felt this way about our kids. We're like, well, see, why don't we transition it, a little? Yeah, it doesn't have to be just a docu soap. We could actually do something else that we're really good at. That we know drinking people wine. Yeah, drinking <laughs> wine. I like that. How do you think you'll know when it's time to say goodbye to the cameras? For me, it's definitely going to be when Brian like just really is like free. Like, look at our kids, look at the situation. Is this what you want? Like to, you know, and I feel like that's gonna be the day I'm gonna be like, no. I'm very protective of my son. And mm -hmm. so that's why I think for me, it'll be definitely sooner than later because even when we were filming stuff in the hospital with our cameras, like even when they were doing his first bath, I was like, Artem, no, like we don't need to get this. Like though I could tell like those moments for me, I don't, I want to live them through my eyes and not through a screen. I just, I could feel that it'll definitely be sooner than later. Oh God, what does sooner than later mean? Does that mean this year, next year? I probably, I mean, maybe a few more years or less. When you think back on all the incredible footage of your lives over the last, you know, about seven, eight years, is there a moment that you're so proud of? And then on the flip side, what is the moment that you're like, oh, I wish the cameras hadn't have been there. I hate that that's on television. I cringe. A really proud moment would be both my births being on camera. It showed people like different style of births and just how hard it is. And to see Brian's face, you know, if he was a boy or a girl, to see his face when Buddy came out and he announced it was a boy because I'm so out of it. I didn't get to see Brian say something like that, but to relive that moment yeah. for me was, I was really just like, I don't know. That was really special. Priceless. It was yeah. priceless. And so um, that was for sure like a proud moment. I'm thinking the moments that were hard for me is like when the cameras caught during one of my comebacks, the cameras were there and a couple mistakes happened in the ring. Like I've had a hundred thousand matches. Like, of course, some are going to, I'm going to have mistakes. For sure. But like to not be able to just be in my own, like by myself and kind of cry and be upset. I have all these cameras and people around me. And it, it was hard to go through that. Yeah, I definitely have to agree with Brie. The best is the birth because even every time I watch, I still get the same feeling. I get so emotional. Yeah. So my least favorite would definitely be when I got really wasted off tequila. That might be my it. favorite. And I <laughs> got in a massive fight with Artem. Oh my gosh, you're and so I was good. like salsa dancing with a guy in front of him. I, I die every time I see that. Oh that gosh. is the worst, so humiliating. <laughs> We have the cutest visitor today, yeah. baby Teo. I do. How are you guys? Can you say hi? Hi. Can you, can you say hi? Show how you wait. Gosh. The Bella's empire is expanding yet again. You've got this incredible collaboration with Kalugo. How did this come about? Nikki, just the fact that she finally joined the mommy club, which we all yeah. were waiting for, you know. Um, she always mm -hmm. wanted to be a mom and it was so great to finally see her become one. But her and I just started to realize that here we're in it together now. We're both moms. Every day you have your baby gear. And I told her, I'm like, you just see, your life is going to change. You gotta throw <laughs> out the Louboutins. It's gonna be a whole different ball game. We still love being fashionable, but being a new mom, you just become so selfless and everything becomes about them. And our strollers are absolutely amazing. And they're amazing yeah. for not only the baby, but the mom and dad. And then we also created just these amazing totes that for me as a mom, not only do they have every compartment that is amazing for Mateo, but <laughs> that's him here. Dad to the rescue. That's amazing for Mateo, but hi, also dad. for us moms. <laughs> yeah. Oh, she says hi, Oh, hi. 
Hi, Artem. <laughs> Stick, oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> Artem, how proud are you of the Bellas and this amazing collaboration? So, so proud. It's amazing. The product is great. Mateo loves it. We love to use hey. it. So. You know, of course, the root of this collaboration is because you're both moms. Nikki, let's start with you. What has this motherhood journey meant to you? Ooh, it has been the most incredible journey so far of my entire life. Like these past 10 months, like, have, I've been my happiest. I've learned so much. I've had probably more breakdowns because <laughs> mom guilt is real and you want to be so perfect. And, but the love, like when Mateo says like right. mom or mama and, and the love he gives me, I'm like, this is living. This is life. I love that you guys always keep it real. I mean, you just mentioned you've had more breakdowns than you've ever had in the yeah. past. What, what are these little moments over? You know, it could be like, sometimes you, like, I feel like I feel as a mom, whether like if Mateo cuts his finger or gosh, I'm trying to think like, well, even like we, she will go, we oh. had to do some work in LA and she couldn't bring Mateo. And like the whole time she feels like a bad mom. And I'm like, well, you need this. Like you need to step away at times because all moms need to hit the refresh button. It makes you go back and be a better mom. Right. But at the same time, you're showing your son what it's like to be an independent I working know. hard woman. You know, which is he, great. I was in my driveway one day and Mateo started choking, but in a way where like, I was like, this seems serious. I screamed for Brie. And Brie I happened to be in my front yard. She happened to be in her front yard. I'm like, Brianna! So I like came sprinting and like quickly Grabbed put him, him over. I was like, and, like doing this and I just like, and then I feel like I was such a failure because in that moment I couldn't help my son because I was freaking out. And so I was like, well, this is all normal first mom stuff. Like I had to learn the hard way too with all of it. Yeah. I'm just doing it the second makes, time. So it's easier. It makes you cry. <laughs> your families are beautiful and I, I see how happy the two of you are. Do you think your families are complete or are there hopes to expand? Artem yeah. really wants to expand, but I'm just so content and I am very driven in my career and, and I love being a career woman and I love to travel and I love the fact that I've, I've gotten to experience the miracle of life. And I just feel very content at my age. Like I, I'm good with Mateo. Um, now his father on the other hand would love another one. Like tomorrow? <laughs> oh yeah, he would. I mean, <laughs> I feel like would. I have to be super careful over here. I'm like, <laughs> do I need to be a born again virgin? Like I'm really scared. Only time can tell, but like right mm -hmm. now, like I feel like I'm a one and done. Um, so we'll see. My family's for sure done. I got my boy and my girl. I'm really happy. Mm -hmm. and that's it. Nikki, we got to ask you for a, a wedding planning update or are you not planning a wedding? Cause it's okay to, you know, just be engaged right. and do you. Totally. Um, so Artem and I, the other night we sat on the couch and we talked about this. I was like, Shh, do you want to start planning now? And we've mm -hmm. called a few venues of like, we, we would love to be in the fall. And a few of the venues were like, we're available. And mm -hmm. you know, what was, what we just started saying is we are so busy every day, uh, completely remodeled the inside of our home. Um, we haven't even mm -hmm. lived in it yet. And so he and I both were just like, let's get through the house. Like if it happens, it happens. I want a really big bash <laughs> and, you yes. want to do it right. and I want to do it right. And I want it mm -hmm. to be like where it's a fun experience and a journey, like we're, we're, it's just a lot of fun. So yeah. as of now we have no plan. No date. Okay. Yeah. If you think about your dream scenario, do you know when it would happen and what you'd want it to look like? Is it a Napa wedding? Is it a destination wedding? Napa Valley for sure. In the fall, okay. because the leaves change and we could be a little crispy cold. Champagne towers, black tie events. Oh, yeah. And obviously we'd have the greatest food ever because we're here in Napa Valley and it'd have amazing wine. And I the mean, greatest maid of honor. Well, that's right. <laughs>